All right, it is time for our recruiting report with our recruiting insider, Otis Kirk, as always. He's joining us over the phone today. And Otis, let's start out with Chase Lowry. He just committed to Arkansas on Thursday. He's big time three-star corner. And, you know, we had the chance to actually talk with him after he committed. And he said that one of the reasons he picked Arkansas is because he doesn't want to just join a powerhouse. He wants to help build one. Right. Yeah, he, he, he said that, and, and that's, you know, you like that attitude because it's so easy to go to Alabama right now. It's so easy to go to Oklahoma. It's so easy to go to, you know, Ohio State, somewhere like that, you know. But, no, he chose to come to Arkansas, and he feels and he's very involved with the other kids that committed. In fact, they played a big role also, the uh, commitments, because, you know, he talked to them, uh, you know, Tara, and asked them what why they committed to Arkansas. And when they told him a lot of that was why he also – was interested in Arkansas. So, no, I mean, I love this kid. He's very versatile. We talked about him earlier in the week, so I won't go into real deep detail about him, but he's very versatile. He, he does a little bit of everything for them. He returns punts, returns kickoffs. He plays receiver. He plays corner. He does everything for uh, 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 Fr uh, Frisco High School down there, the Raccoons. So, uh, you know, so uh, he is a good one, and they got a good one. And the thing that I like about him, you know, he – he talked about two stars down there, two four-star kids in Texas. They could be among the next commitments for Arkansas. I mean, he really is working on two particular kids. He and he and, and the course looks go and the other kids are all working on these other two. Yeah, yeah. You talk about them, the two guys that Arkansas is really making a push for. Let's start off with Keytron Jackson. He's a wide receiver out of Royce City, Texas. Where does Arkansas stand with him right now? I think they're still number one. Every time I've talked to him, they've been number one. Here's the deal about Keytron. If, if people wonder why we talk about him so often here, at least once or twice a month, go watch his huddle video. Here's the deal, Tara. Very first play, you don't have to watch very much. Watch the very first play. They've got a first and ten at the eleven yard line. They th uh, they throw a ten yard pass to Keytron to the twenty one. He takes it eighty nine yards, seventy nine more yards for an eighty nine yard touchdown. You know, but he took a, he had a first down. And he made three people miss him and went all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. It was an eighty nine yard touchdown. But he went the last seventy nine. He simply had a first down and was surrounded by some people, but yet he made a miss. That's the very first play on his huddle video. You watch that and you understand why. You know, his top seven are Arkansas, Texas A&M, Texas, SMU, Colorado, Oregon State. And I, I think I said TCU, but if I didn't, TCU's in there too. And uh, But I think Arkansas right now is still his leader. They were. He's got a great relationship with Sam Pittman, great relationship with Justin Stepp, and also with uh, Kendall Brow. So those are good people to know if you're a receiver. And uh, right now they're holding out hope that they can get him and take that spot there at the pit receiver and – he, he's a good one. I mean, you know, he he uh, he has over well over twenty offers, and just you know, he's just fast. He's he's six two, one eighty five, maybe one ninety. He's versatile. He's he's just so athletic. He's you know, people talk about do you want athleticism or do you want talent? Well, he's got both. So there, therefore, you get the total package with he tried. He's he's both. You know, I've seen that debate about talent or or athleticism. He's got both. Well, Otis, let's talk about Landon Watson. He's another guy that Arkansas is making a push yeah. for, a three-star defensive end out of Texas. Uh, what do you think that he could bring to Arkansas? Well, he can bring. I keep. I hate to keep using the same word. Keep using the same word, but versatility is one thing with him because he's six three, two thirty five. And some schools like him as a defensive end. Some schools like him as an outside linebacker. He he, he can do both. He, he reminds me a lot of the Sully kid that came to Arkansas, or Zach Williams that came to Arkansas. You know, in the last class. I mean, he's 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 uh, he's really talented. He's got his final six is Arkansas, Virginia Tech, Arizona State, TCU, Tennessee, and Cal. Uh, Florida State has offered him since that time. Uh, they offered, uh, I think it was like May the 13th, or, you know, somewhere in there they offered him that, that uh, Florida State did. And, well, actually June the 30th is when Florida State offered him. May the 30th is when he narrowed down to those six. So I don't know if Florida State is trying to sneak in there. He's going to let them. But that was supposed to be his final six. But I think Arkansas – Everybody thinks he's going to Virginia Tech, but I think that's to be determined. We'll see. I, I still think Arkansas has a legit shot. I won't say they're leading like I did for uh, Keytron, but one difference there is Keytron came to visit for the junior day. Landon hasn't been up for the junior day, so, you know, he got cut before, uh, short there. He had 49 tackles. He had 21 quarterback curries, seven sacks, 
14 tackles for losses, two forced fumbles, and four recovered fumbles this season as a junior. He, he plays at Hutto, Texas, and, uh, you know, he, he's he's someone that can really be an impact player. And, and, and like Keytron, he can be an impact player immediately. Well, Otis, lastly, let's talk about Drayden Norwood, a guy yeah. at Fort Smith north side, a corner. He decided to go to Texas A&M. Yeah, that surprised me. It really did. It didn't shock me because, but here's the deal on him. On May the 20th, he came out with the top five of Arkansas, Georgia, Notre Dame, OU, and Missouri. School missing on that list is Texas A&M. But he did a virtual visit with them on May the 20th and was really impressed with the Aggies. But still, I, I, I you know, you got you got the the basketball players, boys and girls, coming to Arkansas from North Side. You know, they've, uh, you know, I. I was surprised. I'm not going to lie to you, but I, I tell you what. Here's the deal with Drake Norwood. He's a very good player. He, I think he is up there. I think Terry Wells is the number one player in the state of Arkansas in the 2021 20, class. But I think Graydon's probably number two and at least number three. Uh, but he 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 can challenge. He's the one. I think he challenges Terry for number one more than. More than more than Outley does, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, no, he's a good ball player. If a and holds on to him, they got a good one there. I mean, well, he got a great one. I mean, he'll probably be a cornerback in college. He plays some quarterback, plays some corner, play a little bit of everything for Northside. He could be a receiver in college if somebody wanted him to. He could be a safety. He could be a corner. You know, he can uh, he could probably play running back. I mean, he could do a lot of things in college at the next level. But I see him as a corner. But uh, you know, I. I will be surprised if Arkansas stops recruiting him, uh, Tara. I really will be. I just think – I'm not saying he's not going to A&M. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that we know verbal commitments <laughs> around the country. And this not just Drayton, but everybody. I mean, kids are taking – making commitments this year more so than ever and none of them are hardly taking business because they have taken business to schools because of the COVID-19. I think once this thing opens back up, you're going to see a lot of kids getting still being recruited who are committed to other schools. And that includes kids committed to Arkansas. I mean, Texas A&M offered Devin Manuel, the offensive tackle from Louisiana this week. So, I mean, schools are not going to stop recruiting a kid because he commits somewhere. And I, I, I really believe that'll be the case with Arkansas and Drayden Norwood too. Now, where will he sign? I have to say he probably going to A&M. That's what he says. I'll take his work for it. But I, I know that could change too. All right, Otis, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate okay. your insight as always. Thank you. That's going to do it for our recruiting report.